Well, I mean, we had a very strong message. See, what was happening for the longest period here, um, there was no campaign from the Republican side, no campaign from the Trump side for the Hindu Americans. The tweet of the uh, Diwali Day tweet changed everything. That also allowed us to use that tweet to launch a campaign. Next five days, we launched a major campaign in which we had, uh, let's see how many, 30 channels, 30 commercials a day. So 900 commercials for five days. And we were uh, successful in educating the Indian Americans of who Kamala really is. She is only a uh, Hindu, half Hindu, in name only. Kamala was more like a, a chameleon, changing her tune, first say, to please some voters. Well, um, at about uh, 8 o'clock this evening, uh, from um, all the data which was coming in, exit polls that were coming in, uh, and the counts for various different uh, counties that was coming in, it looked like to me that uh, instead of people predicting that it's going to be two days, three days, one week, two weeks, that is going to be over tonight. And I predicted that, that seems to be between 1 and 2 o'clock, more like 1.30, uh, he will be declared, uh, President Trump will be declared as the 47th president. And that's what happened. Right. Talk to us about, you know, how this, this election really turned around. Uh, you know, people were expecting uh, a close margin between the two candidates and it didn't really happen so. No, I have been predicting this thing for quite a while. Um, that is, uh, if you just go back to 2016. In 2016, the morning of the election day, Hillary was ahead five to six points on every uh, swing state. So if you just apply proper math, what will amount to will be, uh, in, you know, at that point, uh, President Trump won by a very few votes, but he won. But uh, here, if you apply the same math, you will have to take out 5% out of the uh, current polls. The polls were showing about that even. So you take out five out of that. So that means uh, the poll should be looked at uh, Trump winning by uh, roughly 5%. So ultimately, uh, look at Pennsylvania, look at uh, Wisconsin, look at Michigan, uh, North Carolina, Georgia, all these places, the margin of victory was two to three percent, and and actually our party is most uh, elated about the fact that the the victory was not just a few thousand votes. Victory was hundreds hundreds of thousands of votes, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, every place. So uh, it was uh, uh, it was a great victory, and also our last minute four day campaign. Uh, which you guys are aware of, made a substantial difference. Uh, it was uh, uh, our goal to switch over 200,000, at least, in the battleground states of uh, Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan, and uh, Wisconsin. 200,000 Hindu votes from uh, Kamala to, to um, Trump. That's what happened. Right. Why do you think that the Indian Americans voted for uh, Trump in your uh, number crunching there? Well, I mean, we had a very strong message. See, what was happening for the longest period here, um, there was no campaign from the Republican side, no campaign from the Trump side for the Hindu Americans. But the tweet of the uh, Diwali Day tweet changed everything. That also allowed us to use that tweet to launch a campaign. Next five days, we launched a major campaign in which we had, uh, let's see how many, 30 channels, 30 commercials a day. 
So 900 commercials for five days. So, and, and we were uh, successful in educating the Hindu Americans who Kamala really is. She is only a Hindu, half Hindu in name only. Just because her name is Kamala does not mean that she's friendly towards Hindus, she's friendly towards Bharat, friendly towards Modi. Uh, so we had to bring that out. And also, uh, we also brought out the fact that she really is a Marxist. Her father was a Marxist, her mother was a socialist and a communist sympathizer. That's who she grew up with. So her, her entire philosophy uh, is, is very much to the left, a socialist economy, you know. Uh, who wants a socialist economy? Socialist economies throughout the world have failed. So once you educate the people, you make them think uh, you, uh, I actually, in one of our ads, I asked, um, uh, well, some of you, the youngsters here, may not even know what a socialist economy is. Ask your parents who have seen socialist economy from 1947 to 1991. The growth was pitiful. And then after India changed from 1991, you know, it, uh, the, the growth became dramatic because that's the system everywhere uh, in the world. Uh, human nature is free enterprise. You have to give them an opportunity to succeed. So, uh, so when we educated our audiences, our um, community on these issues, that was a fairly successful uh, campaign. Uh, on the other hand, there was also a significant campaign uh, so you know I'm not gonna just say okay uh, he won because of the Hindu vote only uh, but uh, there were several factors there uh, the Afri African American men uh, uh, Latino men uh, most people working class people uh, and to them the biggest issue was inflation prices prices over uh, had gone up by 20 percent gasoline food so that had a significant impact and, uh, you know, uh, Kamala was more like a, a chameleon changing her tune, first say to please some voters, uh, fracking is banned, now fracking is not banned because there are voters in, in um, Pennsylvania uh, who will be negatively impacted if she bans fracking. So her position kept on changing and the people rightfully did not believe her position because she did not really have any consistent position. If somebody was to actually write a book on it, she probably in the in the three months or let's say from the period where she uh, became a candidate uh, after Joe Biden decided not to run, she probably changed her position on every issue.